hi everyone welcome back to my channel well <laughs> today's the day i say goodbye to cvs for maybe ever i don't know um anyway i'm sitting outside the cvs and as many of you know cvs has um suggested or uh, word has it on the street that they are going to put a lot of accounts under suspicious activity. Now, I've been very loyal to CVS long before even couponed, but today I am breaking that relationship. I don't know if I'll be back to CVS. I don't want to say never. I never want to say never. Um, but... If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for coming by. I have no makeup on today. My allergies have been really bad, so I'm, I'm going um, with no makeup. <laughs> and um, anyway, uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Jonna and I do shopping videos. And if you're one of my loyal, regular subscribers, thank you so much for coming by. Rumor has it that uh, there's been a lot of things going on at CVS lately and the suspicious accounts, it's uncertain why or what accounts. There are several things. There are people with multiple accounts, which I do not have. I did open the second account I've ever had just recently to show newbies how to coupon at CVS and I wanted to start off with a brand new account not to use it but to just use it for a few weeks to show newbies how to get great deals at CVS and I didn't want to start off with an account that already got a lot of CRTs because that's a little deceiving to a new couponer so I wanted to do it right from ground zero anyway um, other than that, I've only had one account. In fact, my account kind of got hacked by somebody else some time ago. And there are like two numbers on my one phone number. I don't know why. So when I use my card, I scan the barcode on my phone on the app and I don't use my phone number because sometimes it'll give me the other account. Sometimes it'll give me the account I use. So anyway, that's all I have. But there are a lot of things that happen. There are people with multiple accounts. There are people that do glitches, which I do because I just have my coupons. And if their coupon comes off too, then that's something in their system they have to fix. And I know at Walgreens, like if I use one of my coupons, their coupon won't work. So CVS's system doesn't work properly. It's not my fault. And then there was something about six months ago where the extra care bucks were not coming off all the time. Um, which I'm not even gonna get into how that worked. I didn't know about it forever. And then I, um, one day my account had all these extra care bucks and um, I didn't know how I got them. <laughs> so anyway, um, that might be one of the things too. So at any rate, I do believe my main account that I use is under uh, suspicion. And I don't know if it's because there's two accounts linked on there or if it was the, I don't know why, okay? I don't know why I'm not in the investigating end of CVS, but when I use my card, it works fine. But when I scan it at the red box, it does not. I have to manually put in the numbers. Now I may just be paranoid, but my thing is this, CVS's system has been screwed up for a long time. And I understand that there are reasons why they're losing a lot of money, but they need to get their system right. They need to get an IT guy in there that can do that. And I don't think the majority of 
well, I don't want to say that. There are other things that have been going on. There have been people using coupons for items like um, supposedly always or poise were coming off for Tide. I don't know how that happens. That's really a joke. Um, I never did that. I didn't know about it until just recently when someone brought it up. But that being said, whatever it is, is a system issue. And to hold the consumer uh, at task about it seems a little off to me. So that being said, um, I'm done. I'm done with CVS. I'm okay with that. CVS, you know, the CoverGirl, I have more CoverGirl than I could use in, a, in 10 lifetimes. I sell it for a dollar at my yard sale because honestly, I don't even want it. I have so much makeup. I have higher end makeup than CoverGirl. Anyway, that being said, I'm not really going to miss CVS too much. I'm sure there'll be deals, but there's always deals that I miss that I that I see and I don't get or, you know, like Rite Aid. I don't live by a Rite Aid. So when I see a good Rite Aid de deal, yeah, I wish I could do it. But you know what? That's that. I can't. <laughs> okay. I'm going to run in here mainly because I have five extra care bucks. That's it. I burnt everything else last week and I had five that I actually was burning the extra care bucks and I earned $5. So I'm going to go in here and spend that $5, try to get a, uh, I bought a reward or get some food or snacks or something. I don't know what I'll get, but I'm going to run in here, spend that $5 and then I am going to deactivate my, uh, ex my, uh, care pass and I'm going to deactivate my cart. Now the good thing is I didn't pay for my care pass for a year, which I was going to because then I'd have it, you know, and I, I don't know if they deactivate you, if you lose all that money or what happens. And I don't even know if they're gonna, they're supposed to deactivate people at the end of July. Um, I don't know. I, I honestly think for CVS, it's a mistake, but you know what? I'm not here to judge or determine what happens to CVS or what they do. I am worried about my own couponing community and I don't want to put anyone in a position to be couponing at CVS and then have all their extra care bucks or whatever taken away. Um, that being said, I really think if I was in upper management at CVS, I'd be looking at trying to hire a good IT guy out of Silicon Valley or something because that's where their problem lies. The, the majority of it and then there's a lot of theft you know I mean I'm legit I don't use counterfeit coupons I don't use coupons on items that they aren't for I just use my coupons and if their system has their coupon come off along with mine I'm sorry that's not my fault and um, so anyway that being said I'm gonna run in here let's see what I can get for five dollars and uh, part ways with CBS at least for a while. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> I'm out of CBS, and um, I, I did find something. Whew. If you could do me a huge favor, if you are new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet, it's free. Subscribe to the channel. I am going to do a giveaway. Um, I'm going to do a giveaway maybe next week. I'm not sure. I was going to do inserts because um, we are really lucky and we're getting PNG back in the insert. So I'm ecstatic about that. So, um, I am going to do a giveaway. It'll either be uh, Venmo. Usually, I just Venmo 25 bucks to somebody. But it'll probably be in a week or so. I haven't done a giveaway in a while. And I do like to get back to my subscribers. But I'll let you know. 
I will let you know probably Sunday. If I do a video on Sunday, I'll probably add a contest in on that video. So pay attention to next Sunday and let's see what we can do. Okay. What I did was I got the fast twitch. These are two for 450. I was going to get the collagen. They are 99 cents. If you have the collagen in your stores, they are 99 cents. And Star had it on her video. So if you uh, watch Star, she does awesome, awesome uh, deals. But they didn't have it here. I looked all over and I didn't really want to go to another CVS. I kind of want to break up. You know, when you want to break up, you don't want to keep lingering on. <laughs> <laughs> go back so I didn't want to go to another CVS I just wanted to break up you know and it's weird walking out um kind of felt weird kind of like when you leave a job for the last time or you graduate from college and you're you're done and you're walking away kind of like okay what do I do now um or when you're breaking up because that's what I feel like I did I broke up with CVS um, I know a lot of people are not going to do CVS anymore and a lot of people will probably do it until they get deactivated and some people will probably just get another card and figure heck go ahead deactivate me I'll just get another card um, I always have been kind of uh a warrior a justice warrior and um, I kind of feel like I feel not appreciated I don't feel my business is appreciated you know I get deals I show people how to get deals but I buy a lot of stuff at CVS um, and our money is you know generating sales for them the coupons they reimburse for their coupons um, if they fit it, fix their system, then they wouldn't have the double dip. But anyway, it, it is bittersweet. I have to say that it is bittersweet. And, uh, anyway, so I got this fast switch. It's a dollar rebate back on Ibotta. There's also, I believe one on Fetch and there might even be one on Swagbucks or Shopkicks or something. I don't know. But anyway... I'm going to look at the coupons.com because I forgot I had coupons for this too that I'll use somewhere else. But anyway, maybe on coupons or shop me, there may be a dollar still on there. If so, I'll put in for that. They were two for four fifty or two ninety nine each, which they're higher price than they should be, but they were uh, two for four fifty, which is fine. I used the $5. I let the rest of it go. I could care less. I'm going to get $2 back from um, Ibotta and then whatever else I get from uh, the other apps. So here is my receipt and um, oh my god, <laughs> I got to show you what I got. I got a 70 off my next purchase. Do you know I haven't had a threshold coupon at CVS in months, months. And everyone gets these 10 off 70. And um, um, anyway, I won't be using it. Now that I got it, I won't be using it. But I had big ass ones over there at Walgreens that I'm trying to do. Okay, here is my receipt. I used uh, uh, $5, I used actually $5, $4.50 came off, and uh, I walked out without paying a dime. So you guys, I will get back $2 from Ibotta. I think there may be something on Fetch, I don't know, I don't even care. Um, yeah, and that 70, 10 off 70, right now at Walgreens, and I'm going to go to Walgreens next. At Walgreens right now, I have a spend 50, get 12. But then I have spend 56 times in the month of July 
for $50 in Walgreens cash. So I'm gonna be doing that. And um, I'd rather give Walgreens my money right now because, and it's not that things, you know, it's not that their system's not working right, but it's throwing the blame to people that are taking advantage, I guess, of their system not working right. But, you know, that's not for me. I mean, that's their problem. Fix your damn system. Anyway, uh, arrivederci, CVS. Um, I am off to Walgreens now. <laughs> I'm going to put in for my Ibotta on that. And I have some really exciting stuff to do over at Walgreens. So let's head over there. And thank you so much for watching. And my next video will be a great one from Walgreens. See you there. Happy shopping.